Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it up to $200,000 in grants uh, per awardee is available and the VA is asking for more applicants. So with that, let's jump into it here. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate it. Uh, every thumbs up and every minute watched helps to push this out into the hands of those that need it. So let's jump into it here. The VA uh, put out a news release and uh, this came out March 27th, 2024. I am sharing it with you this fine April day. And the headline is, VA calls for applicants for specially adapted housing assistive technology grant. So the VA is calling for applicants for the 2024 specially adapted housing assistive technology grant. Um, I, don't, I don't know if, or I don't know when it opened. So I don't know when they were able to actually receive the applications. Uh, my guess is is that if it has been open for a while, uh, they might be falling short of the number. This is something that sometimes happens. They need to get rid of the money. It does no good in the VA's hands. They need to get rid of the grant money out to the awardees. And uh, sometimes what happens is, is they do an additional push of awareness out there. So this might be what this is. And again, it's up to $200,000 uh, uh, can be awarded for, for each grant. Uh, so let's go on. Since 2016, assistive technology grants have been awarded each year to selected individuals, researchers, and organizations. So all three, individuals, researchers, and organizations to develop new technology that enhances the ability of seriously or very seriously disabled veterans and service members to live more independently. This year, applicants have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 28th to submit their proposals. S-A-H-A-T is the acronym, SAHAT. So that SAHAT is uh, Specially Adapted Housing Assistive Technology. Uh, so SAHAT applicants or applications are evaluated by VA staff with professional experience in construction and housing adaptations for disabled veterans. These reviewers include SAH adaption officers, occupational therapists, and rehabilitation engineers. Their recommendations are used by the VA Loan Guarantee Services Executive Director to select the grantees. The SAHAT grant program was authorized in Section 203 of the Veterans Benefits Act of 2010 to expand home adaptation options for SAH eligible veterans and service members. Grants of up to $200,000 are awarded each year uh, to SAHAT innovator candidates selected by the VA Loan Guarantee Service Executive Director. These research grants are proven to have an impact on veterans' lives. Product development as part of the SAHAT program include thought-based control of assistive technology for veterans with uh, neuromuscular implants or impairments, excuse me, smart home mobility modifications, and safety monitor, monitoring, monitoring one of those days, and an interface between smart devices to allow voice control actions. That one's pretty sweet. Uh, a list of previous SAHAT grant awardees and technology innovations developed from SAHAT grant funding can be found here, and there is a uh, hyperlink. I'll try to put that in there. Hopefully it works. Uh, for more information about the specially adapted housing at VA, you can also uh, search that on the VA's website, uh, SAH. Um, if I click the hyperlink uh, for the previous uh, grantees, I'm looking here. Uh, let's see. So, grant program awardees, there are many emerging technologies that could improve home adaptations or enhance a veteran's or service member's ability to live independently. Below are some of the innovations uh, a VA has funded each fiscal year through the SAHAT grant. It says here, University of Utah, Salt Lake City. Uh, it says here, technology smart control of smart devices uh, 
intuitive thought-based control of assistive technology for veterans with neuromuscular impairments. And uh, the University of Utah was given $200,000. Um, let's see, grant awardees for 2001. So I don't see 2023. Um, so Utah was, uh, University of Utah was 2022. 2021 uh, was, I don't know, Lavorgis. Uh, innovative custom ramp, uh, custom fit ramp technology for improved fit and installation time. Uh, they uh, received $199,428. Uh, let's see. Prehensile Technologies, uh, Robo Table 2.0, Robotic Table uh, to Enhance Independence. They received $199,833. University of Pittsburgh uh, developed and uh, evaluation of a flexible rail system to anchor interchangeable home modification, 200,000. Uh, Virtual Collaboration Research, Inc. Um, let's see, Digital twins for accessible homes i don't i don't really know home twin digital twins for accessible homes i don't really know what that would be uh two hundred thousand uh, dollars was awarded there uh california state university fullerton uh design and development of a uh, uh, teach by showing uh, paradigm based robotic aid system for blinded veterans a hundred and ninety nine thousand two hundred and eleven dollars um it goes on and on, so it kind of lets you know uh, the different uh, organizations uh, and universities. There's quite a few universities and then like tech type companies uh, that uh, receive this stuff. I like the university aspect, that's pretty cool. If you're currently going to uh, university, uh, maybe let, uh, let the powers that be know there that this grant is available. Uh, like many grants, people are not even aware that they exist until maybe it's too late. So uh, you have until April 28th uh, for this Sahat grant from the VA uh, up to $200,000. Uh, if you're an alumni of a university and you want them to, to be aware, reach out. Let them know uh, that there is this money available. I'm sure that they could use it and uh, it would also um, benefit veterans, right? So... Let's see. Simply Home is uh, they were awarded two hundred thousand. It's an interface between Simply Home's proprietary Firefly platform and Amazon's Alexa to allow voice commanded actions. So, kind of a uh, a way that they were able to utilize this grant um, to, I guess, really better their whole system, but to utilize that grant money to help do so. So. There's other universities and so forth. Auburn University, Touch Voice Eye Controlled Assistive Technology for Veterans and Service Members with Significant Disabilities, $199,630. So it just, uh, just to give you a few ideas of some of the awardees over the years uh, on this, if you know of anybody who uh, would be able to partake in that, uh, let them know. So again, it, uh, it is the SAHAT, which stands for uh specially adapted housing assistive technology grant thanks so much for watching i appreciate you have a great one and remember if we don't take care of each other something went wrong